back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. For today's video, we are going to be making one of my all-time favorite McDonald's breakfasts, but of course, we're going to put our keto spin on it. Today, we're going to be making some chafel McGriddles. So let's get straight to the video. All right, guys, so for today's ingredients, you're going to want four eggs for our batter, but you're going to want some extra eggs for the egg inside the sandwich. So I'm using two extra eggs. You're going to want one teaspoon of baking powder, one cup of shredded mozzarella, and for our sliced cheese, today we're using American cheese, some salt and pepper just for some extra flavor, some sausage patties. These are the ones that I got from Kroger and they're less than one gram of net carbs each. For our flour, you're going to want some almond flour, some sugar-free maple syrup. This is my favorite brand. I will link it in the description below if y'all want to check it out. Just some heavy cream for our eggs to whip them up. And of course, you're going to want a mini dash waffle maker. I will also link this in the description below for y'all. So first thing you want to start doing is cooking your eggs and your sausage. So I'm just going to start heating my sausage through. You just simply put them in the pan and let them cook all the way through. While our sausage is cooking, we're going to start mixing up our eggs. I already have one egg in my bowl. I'm going to crack in the other one. If you need more eggs, go ahead and add more eggs. This is just for me, so I'm only using two. To my eggs, I like to add a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. Now this adds more fat for your breakfast, or it just makes them really fluffy, so I like the fluffy effect it does. We're just going to add some salt and some pepper to taste. Very simple and you just mix it all together. Once our sausage is done cooking, we're going to go ahead and add this. Once your sausage is cooked on one side, just go ahead and flip it and cook the other side. Okay, once your sausage is done cooking, we're just going to set it on a plate to the side. And at this point, you want to turn your heat down to like a medium for your eggs. And I'm just going to add a little bit of butter. You can keep the grease in just to help the egg not stick. Just make sure you let your heat come to a low because you don't want to burn your eggs. Once your butter is nice and melted, I'm going to add my egg in. We're just going to cover it with the lid and let it cook through. Okay, about a minute into your egg cooking, once all the liquid is really gone, you're just going to take your egg, carefully flip it so the other side can cook, turn off your heat. And then you're just going to gently fold it into like a square. And then all you're going to do is set it on a plate to the side. Okay, once we're done with our sausage and our eggs, we're going to start making our waffle mix. So you want to crack in four eggs into a large bowl. To your eggs, we're going to add two tablespoons of our almond flour. And then for that maple flavor, we're going to add three tablespoons of our sugar-free syrup. Then you're going to add one teaspoon of baking powder and you're just going to give this a good mix until everything is well combined. Once 
Once you're done mixing everything together, you want to start heating your waffle maker through. Once your waffle maker is heated, this is where our mozzarella cheese comes in hand. You're going to sprinkle some cheese at the bottom so it gives it that nice crispy texture for our waffle. And then you're going to pour some of the batter on top. Spread it out. Make sure all the edges are covered. And then just close it and let it cook through. Okay, once your waffle is nice and golden brown, you just want to take it out, set it to a plate on the side. You can see the cheese is nice and crispy at the bottom. And you just want to repeat until you're done. Okay, once our waffles are all done cooking, we're going to start assembling our sandwich. Now, this recipe makes about 8 to 10 chaffles, depending on how much you pour onto your waffle iron. So, either you have breakfast for your whole family, or if you're anything like me, I like to store these in the fridge for the week. Alright, guys, so now you just want to assemble your sandwich together. So, we're going to take a bottom piece of our chaffle. To that, we're going to add a slice of our American cheese. Just your sausage patty. Now, if you don't like sausage, you can also use this with bacon. That is very good as well. Your folded egg. And then just top it off with the last chaffle and enjoy. Question of the day, what do you like in your McGriddle? Comment down below. Alright guys, so that concludes today's video of our Keto Chafel McGriddle. I hope y'all enjoy this awesome recipe. And if you do make it, comment down below how y'all enjoyed it. Please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see y'all in my next video.